Good morning and welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is uh, coming down here to Lagos and uh, we're going to be having reactions from the local government elections that took place last week Saturday. This morning I'm speaking with uh, Adidayo Adeshoi, who was uh, the chair, candidate for chairman Amor Dofi local government area in the elections. Good morning and thanks for joining us, Mr. Adeshoi. Good morning, my brother. All right. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks very much. I, I, I want us to, of course, um, you know, have a conversation with regards, you know, your reaction to the elections um, on Saturday. There is uh, many points that have been made, you know, with voter apathy, you know, and some of all of that. There was also conversations on Regan, um, or rather allegations of Regan that were made. But let's start with, you know, the, the process itself. Um, for you, what were your biggest challenges? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I will be very brief and precise. We had a stakeholders meeting with the LASEC boss at um, Alimo Shop, and she made us realize that the process, the process will be followed. That is, at the polling unit, the results were meant to be announced. There is, uh, from there, they moved to the World Coalition Center, where the results for the councillorship will be announced, with the figures for the chairmanship noted. At the final coalition center, which went to the local government, Council, where all results from all the wars, seven wars were taken and uh, correlated, reconciled before the final announcement will be made. So, I surprised just before the election ended, some LASEC officials, the PC, PC meaning police clerk, the uh, presiding officer, and the uh, supervising presiding officer, SPO. Immediately, some of them, if not because some of our agents were, were, were strong, uh, they forced them to announce results in some of the polling units. The rest, they took them away, straight to the local government, bridging the procedure from going to the World Coalition Center. All the World Coalition Center, our agents were there, they found nobody. They were, so, they were the curious, they started making calls, and they found out that they already moved the, the ballot boxes from all the polling units, straight to the local government, which is a bridging procedure. And at the, at the, at the local government uh, secretariat, our agents were, were driven out. They were forced out by talks. The local government secretariat is a sacred ground for all our the residents. On that day, in the presence of the police officers, talks used machetes, used uh, rods, used guns. They shot at our agents as supervisors. Where exactly, where exactly did this happen? Inside the local government secretariat. Inside the local government secretariat. That is meant to be a sacred ground. The election was marked with my practices, election rigging, you know, snatching of ballot boxes, attack on our special duties agents who were going around, and security operatives were put on ground to ensure that where they had problems, hot spots, they could quickly go in to intervene. We have evidences. It was some... POPC in their bags having ballot boxes. Some were asked, how many ballot boxes are we, uh, ballot papers are we going to have? We found out that some, some of these officials had ballot papers even in their bags with the hope they will go and change the figures and complete them. Um, I want to say that the amount of people are residents. The amount of people came all out, not minding any party, but looking for the right candidates. To change the mode of it. And Sir Adi Dayo, Adi Mulala Adi Shoei, is the candidate they've chosen. They voted for me. And I know where we should go to follow due procedure. The tribunal is there, we will follow the due process to ensure that our mandate, the mandate of the amount of residents, are not denied. Although the initial results, I want to call it uh, a tentative result. They forged results, they cooked up results. Even to the extent that the coalition officers who are meant to be at the, at the world center to gather results were, were changing figures, mutilating the sheets. You know, it's so embarrassing that at this age and time, people have lost value in human dignity. I want to say thank you for this opportunity and asking some of these questions. I think well, that's what I have to brief. 
If you have further questions, well, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Adesoy, so, so the elections were, um, we're going to get into detail some of the things that you mentioned, but the elections were uh, seen and reported as very peaceful. Um, the only major challenge that was uh, stated was really voter apathy and the fact that a lot of people they didn't show up to vote. Um, so, you know, you saying that there was violence and there was guns and, you know, and, and cutlasses and, and the likes... Um, how come none of this, you know, was reported and we didn't get to see, you know, any of this in the news uh, stories that were made, even from Amor Dofi? And then second, what evidence, you know, are, are you speaking about that you have? Um, thank you very much. You know, uh, your bullets, your, your jokers uh, are with you. I want to let you know that even if you take a uh, an investigative uh, uh, measure to go to Amodov. Even yesterday, the residents of Amodov came all out to protest, to, 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 to hear their grievance. It has never happened in Amodov, in the history of Amodov, where talks came into the sacred ground, the local government secretary. The local government secretary is for all. It's for all. Whether partisan, irrespective of your religious background, as part of your gender and color, the local government secretary is for all. But to our surprise, our agents were chased out with guns. In presence of the police who are standing there, I want to commend the DSS. The DSS from the Lagos Command, they intervened. By the time they came in, the damage has been done, but they, we tried, they tried to salvage it. But even with the late hour that our agents were allowed into the secretariat, we are still able to also discover some of their malpractices. Because when you lie, you have to lie to other people and try to cover that lie. Unfortunately, it, was, it became a mess. It became a mess. Even during the announcements, they made lots of mistakes, terrible mistakes. And I want to let you know, ask from the amount of people, come around and they will tell you the extent of violence. Force, I'm telling you, area boys, thugs, it's, it's, it cannot be foretold. Is there any is there, um, video clips uh, that were taken at this time that can show, uh, that can be presented, you know, either to media or to the court? Yeah, there are, there are lots of clips. Not even is there. There are lots of clips that, even as I speak, the amount of it, if you give them a link, they will they will they will they will bombard your 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 station. The link with videos. Residents have videos. Residents have videos. They have pictures. Agents who were shot at, our supervisors who were shot at. I'm telling you, it is, I mean, you imagine, is this the future we are looking for? A future for the youth? A future for the elderly? At this time and age, when people are thinking about to solve solutions, look for solutions, we are building talks. Talks are meant to be sent to schools, sent to, uh, Technical colleges train on how to make their life better. That's what I have to say for now. Thank you for this. Um, All right, uh, Mr. Adesoye, Ades what what um, steps uh, are you uh, you are planning to take? Um, you know, after you know, of course, uh, these things have happened. Are you going to court? Is there going to be a? You know, are you approaching the tribunal? That's the procedure. When you want to deny the mandate of the people, you cannot do that. I can I can cook, I can buy twenty cows for a gathering, and the, my 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 guest will finish it before I buy to finish. It. But if a community cooks just two cows, not to twenty cows, imagine that is what the incumbent has done by what he did on that day. They are a, so the community now, and more of people are now you know cooking the cow that they have to consume. Because it is it has gone to the point that people are beginning to ask themselves, do we have a future? First time that used to be the London of Africa. I'm one of it used to be the beauty of Africa. And also by the river right. If you go to this place, you begin to share tears. That are these people, are they are they human beings? It's as if they are forgotten. It's as if they are forgotten. And that's what I start to bring. The procedure is laid down by La Seg. If you're not happy or satisfied, you have to tribunal. And that's the, we'll, we'll seek the, 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 the line of justice 
and I believe justice is in this country. And I stand by it, and I believe what happened in those states between Degede and Governor Akele Jowale is what will, in not only in Amadofi, all over Lagos, Etiyon Sam, Agege, just name them. The PDP state chairman, they are, they are, they are already gathering their evidences for them to forge ahead to ensure that our mandate out of about 50, 20 local governments, 37 LCD, at least, PDP stands a chance with the tribunal to at least get some of these local governments. We are not asking for all. We are not greedy. We are not asking for all. But where justice needs to prevail, where we want, evidently, we will get the like, more of is a good example. I think it's another good example. It just is another good example. If I continue to mention, because of time, I want to stop here. Yeah, Thank uh, you very much. But I, let's also talk about LASIEC now. Um, uh, what's the, the response from them? If you say that there was violence in uh, Amor Duffy, uh, polling units, and you know uh, people were attacked and ballot boxes were snatched, um, what's the response from, the, from LASIEC itself? Um, we've written a, um, a, a, a report of how the election went in Amor Duffy to the last same boss in the person of retired Justice Phillips, which has been acknowledged. And in addition to that, uh, I want to let you know, in case I forgot to mention it, some of the last same officials were kidnapped for that day of election. Four of them were kidnapped. That were meant to be at a coordinated police station, a uh, police unit. Four of them were kidnapped. Thank you for, uh, uh, for information, the call. From one of the from one of the LASIC, uh, officials who called in and uh, the security or, uh, details attached to me went there to 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 confirm and what they made there was a mess. They shot at our people at that, at that, at that center. But my joy is that those four officials were freed. Yeah, but the, what I'm asking is because you know LASIC itself doesn't seem to be complaining about the way the elections were run in any of the local governments in Lagos? Um, um, what do you expect? When people try to hide the truth, the video evidences and the protests, yesterday I was, I was moved by what the residents were on the meeting. To my surprise, I got calls. Let's try center that there are people on ground carrying out a peaceful protest. Even with the peaceful protest, some of our, some of the residents, because uh, they see me now as a leader, they have to call him. But what can I do to free them? And to the glory of God, we make the necessary contact, and four of them were released yesterday night around 7:30 at the first uh, area command for having a peaceful protest. Ask some questions. What procedures do you take? You know, even when doing a rally, we we wrote to the commissioner of police. We we wrote to the area commander, we wrote to the DPO, the DSS, the LSNC. We did all the relationship but those are the questions I asked. And I was given a feedback that they wrote a letter informing the commissioner of police, informing the area commander, informing the DPO, informing the DSS of this that peaceful rally. I can mention names, people who were who were kidnapped. But for for security purposes, I want to stop here. Yeah. Some of them were kidnapped, but thank for time intervention. They have been released. Yeah, yeah, all right. And, and, and you, you mentioned, you know, the, um, you know what you expect from people who want to hide the truth. You know, does that mean that LASIC itself, um, for, according to what you're saying, is hiding the fact that elections weren't peaceful in Amor Duffy and there might have been some rigging Bar and ballot box Bar snatching? Yeah, we're well, snatched. Bar uh, I want you to, I want to let you know, this election wasn't an election between PDP and APC. It was an election between APC are the residents of Amor Duffy. It is, in fact, the, the election moved away from party to the community against a party that has not performed, that has left Amor Duffy to in pace. Come to Amor Duffy, do a video, a video tour, and begin to share tears with all the allocation coming to the local government. We need to ask questions. What could be wrong? What did we miss? Go to the river line, you, you, you share tears. Go to Adosoba, you share tears. Mount 2 and first start. 
are assets that you don't need to maintain. When you get there, you will ask yourself, is this where people came all over the world in 1977? First Act 77 to celebrate the African culture. We've, we've traveled around the world. Essence of this nature are maintained and made a tourism uh, center. Today, First Act, First Act and Mount Dauphin, Maltu, are no longer tourism center, but places whereby people share tears and say, we are moving out of this community. Thank okay. you very much. All right, Ms. Adesui, um, what... Um would your response be if the other political parties say that it was the PDP who brought thugs to these uh, polling units because they, uh, you know, saw you. that they couldn't win? What, what would your response be to that? Thank you very much. Um, a, a house divided against itself can never stand. I can't send thugs to, to, to arm my agents. I can't send thugs to arm my supervisors. Even the military details that I had with me will also give their own experience. And uh, I'm a man of peace. And I've always followed the procedures, even before, during the election and after the election. And um, you need to do your investigation and get fillers from the residents of Ahmad Dofi. It's a pity these boys they are using, they are not leading them in the right direction. Uh, I will allow I know a little power of is starting the foundation to educate people of the Southwest. The second generation, second republic, by uh, late by Jack of Day, within he just had four years, three months, and he performed wonders. I'm a beneficiary today. I went to public primary school, Fort Amelie Primary School, First Grammar School, where presently I'm the president general of First Grammar School Association. Uh, my, my character and quality can speak for me. And if we don't, if we continue in this line, I pity the coming generation. Today, I can speak anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, because I was privileged to have politicians in Yoruba, we call them Oshilu, but the current set of politicians we have in, our, in Yoruba, we call them Ojelu. I'm saying this because. I pity those boys. I pity their sex years every day. What I want to planted and Jack on continued. I I cry when I see our youth, your values, chasing bosses, chasing our cadre, chasing power. That was no judgment for us. I keep asking some of the one that gathered them together. Is it a job we can hand over to your children? This job we are doing, is it a job we can guarantee that you have long life and prosperity? If you go to the UK, Go to the US, you find that as citizens, they have moved their pools, that the foreigners come to do the, the, the low level work, unskilled work. Even with our skilled labor force going to the UK, going to the US, we do the unskilled work because they have moved their own people above. And that is my dream for our race. I'm not tribalistic. As many Igbos, Aousas, Niger Delta, we have in a lot of it. I want them to also move above God. I pray that with this mandate, if, we, if by the special grace of God is given to the rightful winner, which is Sir Adida Adishoye and the Tabuna, and more of you will experience what they've never believed. They will say, Can this happen in our time? That will be that, that will be their testimony. I'm not asking for a chance. I'm not asking for two terms. I'm only asking for a chance to govern the more of you people. And we'll see the difference. Then at that point, it is not there for the mother of people, for people to ask if they want me or at the federal level, because we're going to be a between the federal level and the mother of people to say, This man, let him finish what he has studied. Or the federal level, say, This man is he needs to serve at a higher capacity. Thank you and God bless. All right, um, just before we go, I, I think I can also quickly uh, um, ask you with. Um you know, what you have planned, you know, for Amor Duffy. Um, and, you know, if we can get, you know, some clarity, um, the local government receives, you know, on average 150 to 250 million monthly. Um, you know, where do you think Amor Duffy lacks, you know, proper uh, funding or, or proper implementation or use of these funds? Okay, thank you very much. Even without the federal allocation, 
if you have a leader who has a pragmatic approach to revenue generation without the federal location. Remember, Lagos State survived under the regime of uh, uh, then President because of the creation of the LCDA in addition to the local government. They were denied funds, which later came to the willingness to of Lagos State survived with internally generated revenue. Amount of fees blessed. Like I mentioned, the river in that near uh, dockyard, Niger Dock, first act, Amount of fee, Adosoba. We have lots of places where you can generate funds. When even the people, by the time they see what you are doing, yeah, we give, need generated me. funds. They will be willing to give us more. Yeah, so, so what I'm asking is, what I'm asking is, can you, you know, can you share, you know, with me, you know, one or two of these areas that funds can be generated, um, you know, and of course, you know, what you feel the local government um, office should be responsible for um, with the funds that it generates and how those funds can be better used. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Um, one, we have lots of commercial centers around us, commercial activities that are even willing to even do more. They are willing to do more. If they see that presence, that presence of a leader who can lead them aright. A good example, I like being practical. First time grammar school, go to a station. We came into power in 2017. People never believe that things can change in first time grammar school. When we strong to action, I'm telling you, People from abroad, in the UK, in the US, even in Nigeria, they started pumping in money. When they saw what we brought on, on board, our personal monies, personal contribution, and when they saw the programs we had, in fact, they were surprised. One other approach is the digital base, digital literacy. With the digital innovation, we're going to ensure that every data, every fund, generated. Every front supply from the federal will be judiciously utilized in terms of infrastructure development, in terms of education, healthcare. Those place, those key areas, se sectors, are key. Is it the roads we are talking about? It's, it's, it's a far cry of what we generate monthly. And I want to let you know that there are professionals in the world of it who are willing to sacrifice their time and money to give us their own as part of their committee responsibility, that um, committee responsibility to building that society. I think I want to stop here. All right, um, uh, Mr. Adeshoye, um, we'll say thank you for your time this morning. Um, we hope that you can, if possible, share some of those uh, clips with us. You know, so we can build on that report. You know, and also look further into some of the you know allegations that you've made. Um, and I'm talking about the clips now on the violence, you know, in Amor Dauphine during the elections on Saturday. Uh, Thuggery, ballot box snatching and some of the things that you've mentioned. Um, unfortunately, it, it, we haven't seen any of it on, you know, all the other media platforms, you know, not even on social media. Um, but if you have some of those, you know, it would be great that you, you know, share with us so that we can you know, look further into it. But thank you very much for your time this morning and uh, we wish you an interesting day ahead. Thank you very much for this opportunity. The resident of Amanda P will send you pictures, they will send you videos. Just tell us the link and you'll be so surprised. Not even me. The residents will right away. They will be sending you videos, pictures, clips, overwhelming evidences. Not even from me. Because this election is not my election. It is the election. An election for change. Thank you very much. Right. And good morning. Good morning to you. All right, that was uh, Adisui, uh, Adidayo Adisui, the, uh, local, the local government chairman candidate of the PDP in the just concluded uh, local government elections in Lagos State for Amor Dauphin. We'll take a short break. When we come back, the breakfast continues. <laughs>